Hello folks, let's play some Civilization Revolution. Alright, uh, this is a strategy game, it's usually made for the PC, but this time around it's for the consoles. So, this will be fun. Uh, right, you can win by military, science, culture, or economics. There's no story mode, to my knowledge, so we'll just take whatever comes our way. I've got some downloadable content here too, but right now we're going to play normal mode, single player. New game! King mode, of course. That's the basic one. And then we'll try a bit harder with Emperor and Deity. We'll see if I win. But I know I'm going to win with King mode. We'll try a bit harder later on. Any of these cultures, we have some amazing cultures here, and they all have their own perks. For example, there's four ages as well. Ancient, Medieval, Industrial, and Modern. You start off in Ancient mode. Awesome. We start off with the um, Ancient Age, and each person starts off with their own thing too. Romans get Republic and the Call of Lord as laws, uh, and because they're in the ancient age as well, they get half price on roads. Oh Egyptians God. get an ancient wonder when they start the game, so you have a starting perk, you have a, um, um, an age perk, all that stuff. So you know some of these have different ones. For example, we have Republic Code of Laws, we have Ancient Wonder, we have yeah. Courthouse, and Democracy. Yeah. So this is all really good. Navigation. Uh, so all these different cultures. And they all have different strengths. My favorite is the Greeks because they start off with both the courthouse and democracy. So democracy gives you double science or gold, and that's a really good way to advantage for technology. Because when you research new technologies, you get perks. Perks are great because let's say you're the first one to discover a wall, you get a free wall. If you're not the first one, though, you don't get a free wall. Well, that's how that works. Lots of little things there, you know. And there's an Alexander looking very smarty. Good lad. <laughs> let's see what we can do. Um, we could go random, or we could go for a victory. Oh, yeah, the Mongols are fun. We'll save them for later on. I have an idea for them. Let's play as a culture I never played before. Oh, when I first played this game, I was the Zulu nation, so civilization. So I'm gonna be them this time around too. Good old Zulus, they kick ass, and they have some of the most powerful ancient warriors. So maybe we can take over a city whilst we're at it. Let's find out. I usually don't do much aggression. I find the best way to win is through a technology um, path until you get to the end, and then you have high economics. Stand at the beginning of a... So, let's get to it. Uh, we have lots of water here, so that's science. We have two trees for production, and we have food. But right there is a hill, and a hill is great for defense. And a river is very good for defense, too. So, what do we want? Do we want a hill or a river? Hmm. This is a very good place, but that has a really good defense. I'm going to say defense. Alright, we'll just... It's worth it just to have the defense. Zimbabwe. Respect. Okay, now, the best thing to work on right now is science, because... Let's customize this first. Let's, we don't need to pr produce anything just yet. No one else has anything to get us with, and they're not going to attack us anytime soon. So I really want to try and get science on the go and try and research the new technology as soon as possible. That's why we have managed workers, customized workers. These are your main resources. You can have production, which is from trees and mountains, food, which is from plains, gold, which is from the ocean, or special squares, and the same with science, or and so on and so forth. We can build wonders. Wonders are great, um, and they all have different special abilities. You only get one wonder per game, so let's say only one person can build Stonehenge. So that's how that works. You get a boost to those things. You can build warriors, like a galley. They can only go in shallow water, but the MP warrior is pretty badass too. But in, right now we're just going to research some technology. Ah, alphabet, my favorite technology. It's a scientifically significant technology. We could build a library. We could also build the Oracle of Delphi Wonder. Well, I have to say, you get double science from the library. You get archers from bronze working, you get horsemen from horseback riding, and you get temples from... No, no, you get temples after you do alphabet, I think. Or is it from pottery? Oh, yeah, pottery, and then you get temples from ceremonial burial. So if you want to go for a cultural victory, you pick this one, military, you pick that one, and science, you pick that one, in theory. But the best way to victory for any method, even if it's conquest, has got to be science. So let's, build, let's uh, save up for this alphabet. Ah, we're just going to wait a few turns. 
Now the problem here is, if we're like next door to a barbarian village, that's a friendly village there, but if there's a barbarian village, they could invade and take over our city, and it could be game over, as happened to me before. So you really do want warriors if you can help it. Now let's have a look at the technology timeline. For example, if we start off all the way down here with an alphabet, then we can move along to masonry, and we can move along to engineering and banking, all the way up into the space age, man. So that's what we're looking at. Some of these, some of the most important technologies you'll come across, I'll say alphabet first, masonry, because that doubles your city's defense, and they get very aggressive if you're not aggressive. So, uh, democracy is also a very important one. University and banking, invention, very important ones. And then, of course, mass production. That will give you modern infantry units, and you get the ultimate defense from those guys, as well as advanced flight and so on, um, and steel. These are very good units to use for defense purposes. And if you want to win the game, you need space flight, but you don't need these other ones. A uh, superconductor is good to defend from nuclear bombs. And there's only one nuclear bomb per game, and you only get that if you build the nuclear bomb wonder, and that costs a lot of money, so it's very unlikely that we'll get attacked by a nuclear bomb, especially. Let's have a look here. I think I'm going to go for a great wall. But now that we have our scientific building, we can balance the workers out again, get more population, build a library in the meantime. Let's get to it. Wait a few turns. Just you know, digging next to that village there. This could take a while, and the other civilizations, is, civilizations could be well ahead of us. But we don't want that to happen. So let's see what we can do. We have more population now. That's great. So we got science coming in. We have production coming in. Yeah, it's looking good. Let's keep going. Yeah, we're taking our time. Not necessarily a good idea, but it'll be okay for this one. Righty, let's uh, research a, a wall, and hopefully we're the first ones to get a wall. We have a library, so that's double science. Ooh, we might want two cities from an early age. I think we'll have two cities. We'll put the other one down there, where the other one was going to be. That's another very good tactical spot over here, because that's a hill right there, with a river. So this is a very good spot to defend from as well, so I might build more than one city. Aha! Exalted one! Our wise men have discovered the secrets of masonry! Our cities can now utilize marble resources. Two extra resources. Now we can build a wall! We can also build the Great Wall Wonder. <laughs> Whoa! Our civilization's the first to discover masonry. As a result, we receive a bonus. Walls built in Zimbabwe. A free wall. And a wall costs a lot of resources. A hundred. So that saves us a lot of time. It was worth it. Let's see. What else do we need to look up now? I think my next objective is if we want to have very important technologies. Uh, Code of laws might be nice because we're going to start building settlers. So I'm going to decide. Uh, yeah, I'm going to do code of laws next. In the meantime, we'll build something else. Uh, do -do -do -do. Impy warrior built, and now we can build a granary. Or we can build a. Here we go. Our display of advanced tools has amazed these villagers. My arm is in the way. In response to oh, in response, the villagers share military skills. Our MP warrior unit has become upgraded to veteran status. Let's just give him a different voice. And nearby are some barbarians. Here they come. We should go and say hello to those barbarians. Mess them up a bit, because now we're veterans. Ooh, extra good at fighting. More attack. Very nice. I think, I think, I think we should go for Stonehenge. We haven't got a temple yet, but we will eventually. And it's always good having a wonder if you want a cultural victory. But right now we're very inclined towards science. Here come the barbarians. The barbarians are very weak. Because they're uncivilized, they don't get a bonus either. So we can we can win this battle easily peasy. Or we could get our butts kicked. Hmm, that's not looking promising. A message from Brennus, the mate of the barbarians. Ammo grinder, while you admire uh, um, your eh, while you admire your sunny swords and monochromatic tunics, our happiness requires nothing but a spiky club. Okie dokes. I'm gonna heal. Cause sometimes even though they're three times less strong, 
they can kick your ass. It's not fair. Alright, we should win this now. There we go. 